Alicante, town by town. Villa Hoyosa. The ancient Roman Alonis, happy town if we translate Villa Hoyosa into English, opens out to the sea with its 15 kilometers of coast. A coast that combines coves, long beaches, and steep cliffs looking out over the Mediterranean. Evocative names like Playa Paraiso give an idea of the quality of its waters, of the beauty of its sands facing the sea. Father Mediterranean established this marine township. But not without a fight, many defensive towers protect its coast as proof of a violent past against Berber pirates. La Torre del Orgullo, or La Torre del Chaco, looked out for the approach of boats. The forewarned population sought protection in the towers of Las Huertas, of La Torreta, or that of Simeon. These towers, which protected the laborers who worked in the fields, were situated in fortified farmsteads. In the center of the town, a castle with thick walls and circular towers protected the inhabitants. The Church of La Asuncion, a mix between Gothic and Renaissance architecture, has a solid military external structure, just like the urban defensive walls. There is even a sentry passageway on the roof with small arrow slits to fire upon the attackers. Another tower, in this case a funerary monument, stands out in Villa Hoyosa. La Torre de Hercules, or Torre de San Josep, is of Roman origin. The imperial baths of Aion give evidence of the importance of this ancient Roman city and can be found in the center of the town. The stone cross in La Villa is an indication of a Roman crossroad. Many examples of Villa Hoyosa's rich past can be appreciated in its different museums. In the Municipal Museum, a large quantity of Iberian and Roman remains are exhibited. The magnificent farm museum, La Barbera del Zaragones, is an ancient farmstead that justifies a visit just for the simple pleasure of contemplating the building. Originating from the 16th century, it exhibits in its splendid premises collections of objects, implements, and tools from the most recent past of the town. But perhaps the most well-known museum is that of chocolate. An important industry in the town, it is a delight for the sweet-toothed, showing the visitor the art of manipulating this delicacy. La Vila, as the town is known, also has a work by the architect Juan Vidal. El Chalet de Centella, built in 1929. On the outskirts of the town, the Amadoria Reservoir gathers the water from the neighboring mountains 
for the irrigation of the fields. Here, fine specimens of carp can be fished. Alonis, Villajoyosa, La Vila, all of these names are known by its eldest neighbor, La Olivera Rosa, which, nearly 1,400 years old, continues to witness the comings and goings of time in this town. Following the course of the river, we find the colorful scene of its hanging houses, an icon that defines this ancient town which overlooks the sea. However, it is the Mediterranean that has always provided the fishing resources of La Villajoyosa. Proof of this are its important fishing port and fish market. 